Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you follow me on all social media. So today we are toning and getting rid of those white knots on a blonde wig. This is a wig from 527 Extensions. Make sure you shop www.salon527.net. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tone it. And I know my hand in the way, but I'm using purple shampoo, and then I'm gonna pour some extremely hot water in it. I boil these in a little, whatever you call those things, I can't remember. But yes, boil it, put the hot water in it, and let's go ahead and mix it so it's a blend. And then we're gonna go ahead and dip the wig in there. And once you just continue to dip the wig, y'all see how yellow that wig is? It's not giving, yeah, no. We don't do yellow blind. I don't like it, it's not it. So go ahead and dip that wig so we can get rid of this yellowness and continue to watch what I'm gonna do. Now after letting it sit, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the T18 and we're gonna go ahead and mix it. So y'all, what I did, I poured the T18 in there and then I got 20 developer and you do two. Pour it in the thing where the T18 is and then you dump it into the pot or whatever you're gonna be using. So you do, it's two to one, two to one. It's a two to one ratio, okay? so. Pour it in there again and make sure you boil some more hot water and get your hot water ready. And then once you finish pouring the developer in, you're gonna go ahead and pour the hot water in. And you're gonna go ahead and mix that so it's an even tone. I'm using a comb, y'all, I know. I, I do this all the time, so don't mind me. And then you're gonna go ahead and dip your wig again. And y'all see how like the yellow is already gone, but I want it all the way gone. So we're just gonna keep dipping it, let it sit, dip it, let it sit, dip it, let it sit. However you please, just let it sit until the breast, the yellowness is gone out of the wig and it is a toned color to your liking. So now what we gonna do, we gonna go ahead and take this out. Y'all see like, okay, the yellow is gone, it's gone. But y'all see the purple? And the purple is just because I toned it already and it came from being on the hair. But look at that, look y'all. So the yellow is gone. Use T18 in the Wella Love It. I love, 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 love it. And we gonna go ahead and just rinse this wig and we gonna go ahead and start the roots, okay?
So for the roots, you're gonna use T35, and this is gonna make it look like scalp. Two to one ratio, remember that. That's my 20 developer, and I'm gonna pour another one in there. And I don't know why I didn't realize the camera was not on it, but I'm just pouring it and I'm dumping it in there. And on this, no water, no water at all. And you're just gonna mix this evenly. It's gonna turn like a little dark brown. And then we're gonna put it on the knots. Whereas you would usually put bleach on the knots, not a 613 wig, but um, a regular wig. I'm putting T35 Wella on the knots. I do not like the white knots. I don't like it, so I just rather dye them. So y'all see how I'm mixing it? I'm mixing it with my little comb. This is not what you usually do. Go get a brush or whatever you would like to use. And now we are about to go ahead and put this on the lace. So look at the lace before. See the white knots? Yeah, no. We about to get rid of that. We about to get rid of that. Yes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this stuff on the lace. So I'm just brushing it and you're just gonna brush it all over the lace and you're gonna let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your skin complexion. So I am a very light girl, so I let mine sit for about 20 minutes. If you are a shade darker than me, I would say just let it sit a little bit longer, maybe like 30 minutes. Be The longer it sits, the darker it gets. But this worked out perfectly for my skin tone and it will do the same for you guys. So make sure y'all take this technique. This shit is perfect. It look good, okay? Wait till the end. So just smooth it on there, let it sit, and rinse it out. So now we're about to go ahead and rinse it. Y'all see how it's darker? Okay, I know I did not give y'all a good glimpse of this, so I will redo this video if you want me to. But let's just go ahead and rinse it out to see what it's giving. Let me know if you want a slower version of this video. Let me know if you want me to do it like another step by step, like a toning and then a roots. Let me know what y'all think. But wait till the end. I haven't even washed it yet. And this is just how it looks. It looks so, so good, y'all. Like do these before y'all put them blind wigs on. Tone them blind wigs. I do not like to see blind wigs and they not toned. Look at that. Look, look, it looked like scalp, literally. Like, that's T. Y'all can't tell me it's not. Like, period. Yes, look, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so make sure y'all like this video. Make sure y'all comment and make sure y'all tell me what y'all want next, okay? 